Have you ever watched through an entire movie series? I mean, you've, you've seen those watch parties people have for Lord of the Rings or Back to the Future where they'll just sit and watch the entire thing. But that's because these are trilogies that are specifically made so that the entire story is incomplete unless you watch all of them. But if that's true for these movie series, it can be true for all movie series. Right? Right? I am the other session, and welcome to the marathon session. You guys remember Home Alone, right? That cute little movie about the kid fighting off the robbers at Christmas? Yeah. They made five! And clearly, I have nothing better to do today, because I've invited my friends Garrett, Bosdet, Robbie, and Marcy over to watch all of them. This will take seven hours. Today, we are watching all five Home Alone movies. And, uh, how are we feeling about that? <laughs> Oh, are you recording right now? Yeah, I've been oh, recording for the oh, last couple minutes. Oh, oops. Bosdet is going to be late, but he has seen the first Home Alone. So have you guys seen any of these? I've Ages seen the first ago. One. I saw the first one, like, a couple years ago, so I kind of remember some things about it, and I saw the second one when I was a really little kid. I haven't seen any of the other ones. I think all of us have not seen these in literally a decade. I've seen the first three at some point in my life, but I remember nothing about them. I remember the I think I've seen the second one most of all. I do not remember what happens in the third. I've never seen the fourth or fifth. Nobody I've never heard of the fourth. They're made for TV. Okay. Yeah, we're watching TV movies. Direct to DVD? No, they were just they were direct to ABC Family. I mean, I kind of get a kick out of Hallmark movies every once in a while, but like, I don't know. But we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> um, Home Alone 3 actually got a theatrical release, which what? surprised me. I thought it was a direct-to-DVD really? one, but it's a theatrical movie. That's the only theatrical one? The first two. Yes! Okay. The first, the first, the first two did not. No, it's the like games. High School Musical, where the first two were Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that then. We're watching first. Ooh. First, we've got the first one to watch. And are you guys excited to watch the first Home Alone? Ooh, look I at mean, that. I know the first Home Alone is like actually a really good movie yeah, to, in a lot of circles. Yeah. Plus, I love the score to it. So okay. I'm, I'm really, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see the first That one. I remember was the music was very good. And the yeah. game was fantastic. The, oh, oh, shut the up. Not, uh, no, the game <laughs> is terrible. The game. <laughs> no, no, you're going to make all these people. All these people lose the game in the year of our Lord 2019 or wherever they're watching it. What's the game? Oh. You know what the game Who's is. Who's Joe? Oh. oh. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's who, What's Ligma? <laughs> and with that note, uh, let's, uh, what's Ligma? <laughs> Oh, we didn't do the rest of it. Oh. Yeah. Christopher Columbus. Oh my god. Chris Columbus. He also did the first Harry Potter. That's crazy. He also discovered the Earth. <laughs> the Earth? This <laughs> <laughs> fake. That's funny. Nobody's <laughs> angel. Oh, that's that's actually... That's... <laughs> Can please the sequel be Kevin explores his newfound telepathy? Look, you'll <laughs> see the sequel. We're watching four yeah, more of these. <laughs> I know. I'm, just really, I'm really hoping that shows up. He's only like eight pages into that book. Yeah, oh my god. Jump on the top of the train. I thought he was... Jump on the train! Well, that's what I thought he was doing. I was like, what? Well, you, we think that Kevin is the Gallagher, Mr. Gallagher is just like an action hero yeah, all of a sudden. Yeah. All of a sudden, this turns into a cluster. It's just, just... Die hard, home alone. Get more, get more drinks. Die alone. Yeah, right now. Die alone! <laughs> I'll get you some. He's home alone. Full of credits. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We're dead! Woo! We said home alone! Yeah, if you don't sing right, you die. That's how the Catholics work. I mean, as far as I know, like, like, I'm pretty. They said they're gonna die regardless. More like, how much are you gonna regret dying? Yeah, that's the whole. That's the slogan of the Catholic Church. Hey, dude, this yep. just occurred to me. If Home Alone Six comes out in the next couple of years, are we redoing this marathon? We won't redo it, but we'll, we will. We will watch it at a supplemental part. Cool. But if they make Home Alone 6, I'm gonna kick some ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! No, that, ooh, ooh. Ah. that one is... Oh my god. Oh! 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 
Oh, my head! Oh! Oh! No, that man was dead. Oh! Oh! oh, no. oh, no. oh no. Home Alone. This here's Bosdet. Hi. Bosdet had some things to do, so Bosdet showed up in the middle of the movie. So, Home Alone, we have Kevin. Mm hmm. He's this so, kid. Yeah. And he's home alone. And alone. he's alone. <laughs> and then there's some robbers that want to. They want to rob. They want to rob. They're, 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 they're the burglars. Wet they're known they're as burglars. the Wet Bandits. The Wet Bandits, bandits as they're called. And they want to burgle. Um, and they take. Wanna, they break into his house and he beats the shit out of them. Uh, yes, <laughs> that is what he does. Brutally, family comes efficiently. Back. It's literally like a, like a like a tiger hunting in the savanna. Well, let's give some general thoughts. Uh, what do you guys think about Home Alone? I have always really liked Home Alone. The first one. Yeah, like the first one. <laughs> honestly, I'd say it's one of my favorite Christmas movies. I don't. Know, I just have a lot of fond memories of it. I still jo enjoy. I enjoyed it then. I enjoy it now. Yeah, yeah. they do a really good job of getting like they go through all the things he would actually realistically do while Home Alone. And then there's that really sweet scene with the with the old man. Uh -huh. That guy's whole storyline is actually the best part of this. See, scene. I like that yeah. they, they realize that like, oh, we've completed Kevin's like character building arc. Let's introduce like the other character. Yeah, they did. They did kind of finish Kevin's ar arc around the second act mark. The marathon session scoreboard. We are going to give each film in this series a score out of ten. We will then add up those scores to give the movie a final a final score. Gotcha. At right. the end of watching all five movies, we will rank them in accordance to where's number five. Five's down there. Okay. There's five. Uh, with a sad place where we can't see it. Let's start. Um, me. I'm okay. going. Oh yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Start whatever. With you. The man of the house. Look, I'm the most the Mis first here. Mister Session. One. I am the other session. You guys are the sub session. We're the other. <laughs> um, so I liked it. It was cute. It, it wasn't like incredible or anything. It was really nice and cute. It was a nice wholesome movie. I'm gonna give that a 7.5. Wow. Ooh, We're using oh, we can go decimals. decimals. If you like. Jesus. Okay. What about fractions? If you want to use fractions, <laughs> fractions are superior. What are you all talking about? <laughs> can, can Look, I if use... you want to give Home Alone a 73 out of 156, <laughs> be my guess. Okay. But Garrett, you're up next on the board. I'm just gonna calculate what 73 out of 156 is. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta say, I really like this. I the only part we'll get to it eventually. But like, there's one scene from one Home Alone movie. I don't know where he's driving like an RC car around. What? I thought it was from this one. Because and you were I... disappointed because it wasn't this one. Because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Third one's about. It might be the same house. I think it's the third one. No, okay. no, I, it, it is the third one. It's not the same house. It's not the Kevin Kelly. Bosnet has seen oh, the third one. Right. I've seen the Bosnet third one. Changed See the actor. Bosnet uh, remembers the third one. That's yes. the difference. Uh, okay. Yes, it's etched into my very skull. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a seven just because, like, I I was kind of disappointed that there was no car. <laughs> Up next, we have Marcy. I I'm remembering this very fondly now after, you know, several years not watching it. Seeing a bunch of doofuses get beat up by a bunch of a kid's contraptions has always been kind of an amusing thing. I liked it. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight. An eight, eight. for Marcy. Yeah. Okay. Eight no. for me. Rob. That's me. Bobber. It's me, Robbo. I'm actually a pretty big fan of this movie, all things considered. Just watching it what, again. One of the things that you have considered. Well, allow me to consider them <laughs> once again for your viewing pleasure. I really liked the score. I thought it worked really well with the movie. And I also find it really funny that, like, this is a Christmas movie when, like, the only thing is there's a Christmas aesthetic. So. It's marginally sure. more Christmas than Die Hard, though. <laughs> that is true. We will watch Die, all alone. The Die Hard. Oh, God. Perfect. Die Alone. <laughs> We are also watching Nome Alone, right? The anime no, movie get it. we actually made absolutely that joke already, and I want you out of my house. <laughs> I wish there were more things with the family. <laughs> they get home, and like, Kevin's okay. You know what? You're a good kid, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Like, Buzz did not earn redemption. Overall, I really enjoyed the movie. I'll give it an eight. An eight. Okay, very nice. Buzz. Like I said, this has always been one of my favorite Christmas movies. I've always really loved this movie. I would have loved to see it again from the start. You know, uh, usually well, the way you movies are meant to be before you were late. Yeah, before, <laughs> sorry, I had college applications. Wow. You go to college? Nerd. Yeah. Nerd. Yeah. Nerd. I still really enjoy this movie, and it's just, in my opinion, like one of the best Christmas movies. Okay. Yeah, what do you so give it? I give it an 8.5. 8.5? Okay. Oh, bring the average down. Damn. Uh, we will. Hey, who's who does math? Uh, that's, a, oh, that's a really 15 good 15 plus, plus, really plus 7 plus 8 plus 8. 16 plus 7. There we go. 
16 plus 7? No, that's more than 16. That's 16 plus 7 16. plus 17. <clears throat> 25 plus 7, 33. Are you doing math right now? No. Yeah, is that okay, right? It's 33. No, is it 33? Because, yeah. 16. 16 plus 7 25. is 23. 20, that's, that's 20, 20, no, it's 20, not 25. Oh, 23. No, it's 23 plus, 23 plus 9, 34. It's 39. 34. It's 39. The oh. answer is 39. Why can't 39? This is basic addition. Why can't we yeah. agree Somebody on it? Somebody write 39 on the board. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk Home Alone 2. You guys excited? Yeah? Yeah. Doesn't I like Home Alone 2. This is the pre- Surprise, sit down. We're still filming. Sit down. Only Avalon can ace around. I can't sit for very long. Yes, I can. Um, so, folks, are you ready to watch another one? Um, yeah. You know what? I think Home Alone 2, from the little I remember and know about it, I think it's got a pretty decent reputation. But it's Are you ready to watch Home Alone 2 directly after Home Alone? No. Absolutely. Because Home Alone is not the kind of movie you watch and you're like, man, I want to see more of that. Dude, it's the type of movie where you watch and you think, man, I want to see another four of these. Oh, we got the full opening. This movie's already better. No, yeah, this is the exact same movie. <laughs> a except, like, now the church leaves him home alone. <laughs> Abandoned by both his family and Christ. <laughs> How will Kevin cope with being home alone now, when even God despises him? <laughs> Looks back. It's oh! Oh. Yeah. The presence of the Twin Towers is not in itself cringeworthy. No, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, <laughs> We're the sticky bandits. Why do they always have the worst <laughs> sticky bandits? <laughs> Wet and sticky, huh? Stan Master, Kevin McAllister. Stan name, Jingle, Jingle Bell Rock. Rock. <laughs> Jingle Bell Rock. Oh, look, it's Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> it's Dark Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> dark Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> What is that called? But this grill is not a home. <laughs> Overnight. Tip? Okay. What a fucking power. Kevin's dong is like. It's the metallic stuff. So noticeable right now. Uh, what? What? I'm just saying. Excuse me. I don't know what. What? He's <laughs> flexing on that man. Oh. He's got big dick energy. Right oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah, You're talking. Metaphorically. I'm not saying that oh, Kevin has a boner. Limousine. Yeah, that's what you're saying. No, that's not what I'm saying. Compliments of the Plaza Hotel. Please cut that out. <laughs> that's brilliant, Harry. Brilliant. I definitely let his toy dunk in his chest. Yeah, me too. Nobody <laughs> died. I would rather not, personally. All the money the store takes in today, Mr. Duncan is donating it to the children's hospital. And, and today, <laughs> what? Up, what? All the money in the cash register. And Mr. Duncan just takes it right down to the hospital. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Great work, white bandits. <laughs> Sticky bandits. This is like... Shaggy has grown up to be a evil kid. <laughs> so does that make him scoon? No. He's Scrappy Doo. It's Shaggy and Scrappy. Shaggy and Scrappy. Except this time, Fred's on the other team. <laughs> Offense. That seems like sort of a dumb thing to do. <laughs> wow, that is pretty offensive. Hey, no offense, but you seem like a fucking dumbass. <laughs> yeah. You gonna feed him a feather? <laughs> Here, eat your skin, bro. <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> That's a small what? Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> Marv, Marv is just incredibly dense. <laughs> How is that car alarm not going off? I think they broke it. <laughs> no, this is the time before they had car alarms. Yeah, the car alarms were made in 1995. Um, yeah. When they, when uh, Mr. Edward Car Alarm was like, hey, <laughs> I, I wish you would just stop stealing my car. <laughs>
Barb Gage. That is so ridiculous. They are gonna. I swear to God, if they Phineas Gage to Marv, it's a cartoon. Did he just floss? Marv is. He just flossed when he got Marv. Keep it closed. Oh! 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 Up as a 10 out of 10. Hand over, hand over. No, 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 no. Where's the marker? Average? Where is Where's the marker? marker? It was in the bowl. Who ate the marker? <laughs> Who ate the marker? <laughs> uh, sorry. So let's start over from the beginning. But do not write 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay. So, so that was a good movie. Home Alone 2. I liked Home Alone 2. It was uh, really fun. Um, it was the exact same movie. Yes. Kevin gets <laughs> left behind. But he's in New York this time. Yes. He didn't get left behind. It's more like he made a mistake and they went in different directions. <laughs> okay, but that's like they took the script from the first one, mm -hmm. crossed out one line, and went New York. I mean, New movie. <laughs> they're not robbing yeah. houses. They're robbing toy stores, and they're the and they're Siggy Bandits now. Mm -hmm. And they're robbing from a children's hospital. Yes, <laughs> robbing from a children's <laughs> hospital fund in a toy store. <laughs> Like you do. They upped the slapstick so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They murdered those men. <laughs> yes. Any Destroy regular human them. would be dead. Marv Except has to be a god. <laughs> that being said, I don't think the emotional beats hit as well this time. No, they did. No. They did not. Old Lady is not a replacement for the nice old man from the last Not one. at all. They tried doing it. They, it, was, it was nice, but it, was, it wasn't like... Oh, we knew yeah. we knew Pigeon Lady was good from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I She's a lit. Feed the birds, tumpets a bag. I yeah, don't yeah. Think. They elevated the comedy, but they kept the emotional beats the same. Mm -hmm. It was so kind of lower, it, honestly. It's... Although I will say, I think Kevin's half of the conversation in that scene was better than it was in Home Alone One. He was, <clears throat> well, he's a wise ass. Kid. Yeah, he it yeah. shows it shows he has a lot. Of, he's he did a lot of growth between Home Alone One and Two. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's ten now. Harry was definitely the worst of the two, and yet he didn't get nearly as much he, done to him. He didn't get abused. He yeah. got hit by a bag of tools. Yeah. But Marv got like But Marv, Marv got, got hit like by four bricks. Shelves of paint. Marv got it still four got four bricks. Boz, you are not allowed to give this yeah. movie a ten out of ten. He I know you do not believe this is a ten out of ten movie. Have you seen how many 10 out of 10 movies he has? That's true. His letterbox is like 87% 10 out of 10. <laughs> I think Home Alone 2 was just as fun to watch as the first one, but I think the emotional beast didn't hit as much. So it's it's really close, but I'm just going to give it a 7. Okay. Okay. I don't last. Uh, you want sure. to last? Okay. Of course. Okay. You know how sometimes Pokemon releases games after they release their main series? You know, they have like... Diamond and Pearl, but then they release like Platinum, but then you're thinking, oh, well, why didn't I just buy Platinum then? It has more than like Diamond and Pearl. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, okay. You could, walk, in theory, watch it without the first, and I think it's just, <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I liked it yeah. more, but not like... You liked it more? Uh, yeah, like that one more, so I'll give it 
Uh, eight and a half. Eight, eight All right. and a half for that one. Because right. I, I would say I enjoyed that. <coughs> I I have the same issue with the movie that Deegan has in that I don't necessarily think that the emotion hit harder, but I think the jokes hit a lot harder. Literally. Like I nice. I no, I really, really thought that the comedic timing of this movie was a lot better. I thought the jokes were just executed better. Some of them were rehashes of the first one, but they knew they were rehashes, and they did them a lot better. Um, and I just enjoyed watching this movie more. It was just Home Alone 1, but, like, bigger, is okay. what it felt like. And Bucked I enjoyed up. that. So I'm also going to give it an 8. With all the... <laughs> okay, justify it. Why is this a 10 out of 10 film? Because <laughs> I had a fucking blast. <laughs> I had an absolute blast, and that's what I care about when I'm watching. Do you really? Now the question is: Are you keeping this ten because you believe yes. it's a ten, or are you keeping this ten out of just to spite me? It's kind of both. Okay, I mean, I like, 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 like I'm keeping it at ten as a joke, but at the same time, I, I really enjoyed watching this movie. Emotional beats didn't hit as hard, but I really care about comedy more. Okay. All right. Uh, so I, I was supposed to use this time to plot something out in my mind, but I liked it. He was being just. Yeah, no. In his actions, it wasn't like just to pretend to protect his house. There was a moment where he was like walking so by the children's hospital, and the little kid, like the sad little brown kid in the window, gave him a little like, <laughs> and he was like, "What's up, man? I feel you." <laughs> so I feel like there, there's like some kind of holy mission in this. <laughs> the only thing I didn't like about it was like the emotional part. Yeah, yeah. Like it was, it kind of detracted for me, but I liked it a lot. I'm giving it a nine. All right, guys, sweat wow, and sticky okay. bandits. So okay, this, let's do it. Now I added, it's the fun part. I added. Oh we yeah, can do you, math. What'd you get? Forty-three. Is that yeah. impressive? It's forty-three. Okay, forty-three. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's so real quick, one. we should probably just put Home Alone two in first place. Now it's not gonna get any better. <laughs> we don't technically know that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready for Home Alone 3? I mean, we're all ready, we just really don't want it to happen. Home Alone 3 is the last theatrical release for the Home Alone series, so at least this has a budget and a crew. Yes. Yeah. So keep that in mind. It's just very different. fundamentally different from the last yeah, two movies different. we've seen. This, like. this is a completely... Hi. I'm in frame now, sorry. Hi. I think you were in frame before. Um, but... <laughs> 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 Jam your elbow in my ribs. <laughs> Home Alone 3. It'll be better than that. <laughs> I think the most interesting part about watching these is the evolution of the 20th Century Fox logo. American Airlines just loves these movies. The only airline you What airline wouldn't want to sponsor a movie about a kid getting lost in an airport? <laughs> Stop. Is that no? That's Scarlett Johansson? Oh my god. What? Oh god, we're gonna have an annoying talking animal. Yeah, he looks like Zeke from Zeke and Luther. Oh god. Or Luther from Zeke and Luther. This is his chicken spots. Tell him Scarbutt. Believe. Scarbutt Johansson. Again, not as good as. What? What? These guys are dealing with some serious cash. I mean, it is global terrorism. I think it's a release. Why is there global terrorism in Home Alone 3? <laughs> Oh, he just has a gun. Wait, All right, no. cool. Why is this kid armed so much? This kid is armed to the teeth. Oh what? my god! We really are dealing with like a higher class of criminal here. <laughs> then Marv? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that goofball. He put his shoes on without putting his pants on. That makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> they love kicking that. They knocked, the, they knocked the entire door down. He can hear it. Oh, he can't see it. How would you know that? <laughs> this is just the lady singing. Yeah. What's going on? Right? <laughs> Isn't he inside? Inside. inside? inside! Why? Unlock the door! You don't understand the power of that car. It's like Mars. Oh, oh, what? 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 <laughs> what was that? <laughs> You're right, it does have. It, this is the Mars mobile. I'm switching on the cyber optics. <laughs> what? <laughs> this that's, that's not how. That's not what fiber optics. Fiber optics. That's not what that means. That's not what even what fiber optics are used for. We're switching them on. That's just not what they are. Way past school. Why does she still trust him? 
with that. Like, legit though. He's an eight-year-old kid. He's yeah, fine. yeah, he's an eight-year-old with like chicken he, pox. He was diseased and her <laughs> disease eight-year-old. Yep, chicken pox. <laughs> yeah, that's a disease. Therefore, <laughs> <laughs> therefore, he is diseased. <laughs> It's not as bad as Marv, who's dead. In <laughs> Marv who's deceased. cannot perish. <laughs> 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 Why? He's, 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 um, oh. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Is that uh, like the oh, just oh, oh, He's just walking out of oh, the way. It's water. <laughs> it's water. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> Shred this man! <laughs> Why why are there why are there pipes full of blood? Or mud or whatever that is. Uh, I, I, I think that's I think it's just pretty sure that's um it's uh it's some it's 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 that's poopy. That's poopy water. It's canonically Scarlett Johansson's poopy. Welcome. And that guy was lucky enough to get it on his face. I don't like that. I'm not putting that in the video. She's asphyxiated. She's asleep. <laughs> now look at that little parrot. Oh, you just spin around with a rat. funny parrot. Oh, it's a funny <laughs> parrot. Oh! 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 oh. Jesus oh. Christ. Jesus. Jesus. She's a broken mess. <laughs> She's a pretzel. That's not your hand. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Why didn't you just take the actual gun? Yeah. He doesn't like guns. He, yeah, he didn't want to shoot. He doesn't like guns. I'd rather he crush someone's head in with a crowbar. Yeah, dark barbell. There you go. Yeah. Well, guys. Okay. What'd you, uh... uh we have two more. What'd you think? <laughs> what'd you guys think of Home Alone 3? Well, I feel like we were just here. Like, I feel like it snapped and it went by, but it was miserable. Yeah. <laughs> so, the movie was bad. Yeah. But it's 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 a decent like sit down with your family when your kids are five movie. It, it's it's yeah. not like it's movie. not intolerable. There are things that are like uh, but like it's fine. But the sheer drop in quality between two and three it is what was a really so noticeable. Um, instead of having two small time criminals, we have four. North Korean spies. International spies that the chief FBI director has been hunting for what? Seven, seven years. Seven yeah. years. Like they were super spies for a while and mm -hmm. then they were suddenly just as bumbling as Are you I, I'm more so. bumbling. Yeah. Yeah. More bumbling than even even than Marv and Harry. They had a potential to they, not be. They had they had the potential to be cool. And what I want for my Home Alone villain is, is, is a cool villain. Is. My biggest issue was just like how oddly specific all the traps were. You need to do an awfully specific action that isn't relevant here in order to trigger that. Why would you plan for that to happen? My here? immersion was destroyed! <laughs> <laughs> and a good chunk of the traps were triggered not by like the kids setting them up, but just the the goons being stupid. There was also a lot more poopy. <laughs> yeah, there's a yeah. lot more there's oh, shitty jokes. Yeah. <laughs> One was carried out by an animal through and through. The That's parrot true. Lit oh a match. my oh, yeah. god, yeah, the and, parrot. And there is a parrot <laughs> in this movie that is just has the intelligence of a just a human being. It bargains. And it bargains. <laughs> yeah. And it helps the kid with his traps. The problem is it's like, it's the kid's better sibling, and that, that it makes it feel like he's never home alone. This kid learned nothing except how to better hit people with flower and pots. And how to, how, to, how to get a six-figure salary by taking advantage of other people's stupidity. I don't think they're just going to give it to the eight-year-old No, they're going to give it to the eight-year-old. They're going to use it they're to going replace to give all it to the, the doors in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> the it wasn't even like a we're breaking open the door. They destroyed the door. They demolished the door. Because an eight-year-old kid says, hey, there's someone in the house. 
Apple bottom jeans. <laughs> Boots with the fur. With, with the, the fur. fur. You finally got your RC car. This was the yes, one with the RC was car. The was it worth the wait? No. <laughs> <laughs> and this kid's a mega genius. Yeah. Like, he's making robots and contraptions running through the entire house, where Kevin's just like, I'm gonna hit him with Bucky. In 1996, <laughs> this kid just rigged a, a like, home video, ca video camera onto an RC car and got live footage from Wirelessly. It. Wirelessly. Wirelessly. This kid should be working at NASA! No, 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 this kid should be working at Roblox, alright? Alright, I'm giving this a four. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was bad. But it was certainly not unwatchable. There was some funny slapstick in there. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't there, there, the worst. It was funny, but it was too much. I'm gonna give this, I think, a three and a half. Mm -hmm. okay. That's where my that's where my rating. Home was. Alone, three and a half. The kid. Uh huh. He was young Tarzan in Tarzan. He, he was, was a voice actor in Nickelodeon's Racing. He was Arnold in Nickelodeon's yeah, Racing. Oh, he was hey, Arnold. All right, Garrett's yeah. giving it a four. Yeah, it was kind of enjoyable. All right, Mars. Uh, when it comes to bad movies. There are some that I watch from beginning to end because they're entertaining. Uh, well, I mean, this isn't a movie that's so bad it's good. No, it's just a movie that is just bad. But I wouldn't say it's unwatchable, though. For It could have been worse. I went oh, in there we're about thinking, to get worse. Oh, no, I know. I was really thinking it was going to be worse than it was. I thought the setup and everything was okay. And I thought, like, the first scene with some of the RC car stuff was fine. But, like, the whole breaking and entering stuff with, like, it just got a little childish. Like, it just felt like the consequence was way less in this somehow, even though technically the stakes were higher. But I will say, there were parts of this movie that I did think were actually kind of fun. I didn't hate it. I'd give it a five. A five? Yeah. Okay. I might watch it again, but I'd have to give it a number of years. Boz, coming off a hot ten for Home Alone 2, <laughs> where we, how are we dropping? I remember this movie, like, a fair bit. It's worse than I remember, but not quite as bad as I expected it to be. Way more slap didn't really stick, is what I would say. Mm. Very clever! Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very clever! Yeah, now, we'll do a nice little off. gold little <laughs> for that one. Yeah! I want to give it a three, but... You uh, I did just learn that this guy voiced Franklin in The Wacky Adventures of Ronald No, Birthday World. That bumps it up to a four for me. <laughs> that was, that was, Are you sure that's a whole rating up for that? Three and a half. <laughs> Three and a half. Three and a half. Final answer. <laughs> math. Who wants to do the math? Seven, uh, eleven, fifteen, twenty. Wow. What are we expecting for Home Alone 4? Uh, I, okay. Not much. If this is the movie Pretty I remember, if, I, if I'm thinking of this movie correctly, I hate it. I really <laughs> hate it. All I know about this movie... I can't movie, believe you've seen it. Neither can I, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly All funny. I know wow. about this movie is that the subtitle is Taking Back the House, and that makes it sound like it's a divorce movie. <laughs> and I feel like that would be really funny and also really sad, so... Except this year. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh my wait, god. Wait, was I right? What? Why can't you just get back oh. to Yeah, hi. It's, uh, it's editing Matthew, like, two months after we recorded this. Uh, this got really, <laughs> really long. Um, so I decided to split it into two parts because I thought that'd be a little more digestible. Uh, part two is already edited. It'll be up in a couple days. Uh, if it's not already out by the time you're listening to this. So if it is, you'll, there'll, be, there'll be a card in the corner. Check that little thing out. Um, so uh, thank you so much for watching so far. I hope you enjoy Home Alone 4 and 5 in the next part. Uh, remember to subscribe to see when that comes. Give me a like if you like it. And tell me what you think so far in the comments. Uh, yeah. See you soon. Thanks.